Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I have pre-shuffled these four decks for you for the month of October. This is intended to be an October general reading for the month. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate with you, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Thank you to all my supporters. I really appreciate all the love. I just put lotion on my hands. Alright, so it's time to stop, apparently. So, it looks to me, the basis of your reading is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person could be prominent in your life, could be somebody with a lot of fire in their chart, or it could be you taking on this guy's energy. Now, this is a man or a woman, but it could be that you are re really, really focused this month. You could be focused on your career, or you could be focused on your partnership. Either way, it looks like you're really focused because that's what he is. He just goes for what he wants. He, he's about action. Um, he doesn't stop. He goes for what he wants until he gets it. So this month, you may be really um, stepping, stepping, in, stepping it up a notch in regards to going for what you want. Okay, I think that you've had a lot of dreams. You've been dreaming of this success. That's right here. You know, I think you've been dreaming of this success, and you are definitely going for it. We have the chariot right underneath it. The chariot is also about pushing forward, moving forward, um, moving quickly, not standing still in any way because you are ready for a change. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, so I see that you're, you're moving forward this month. It's a month. It is a month of change. Something is changing, and it looks very exciting because we have this here. The Ace of Wands is an exciting new partnership now, or it could be a sexual partner, or it could be at work, but it's something very, very exciting and um, with a lot of energy, okay? High energy. Maybe you're being feeling very energetic this month. Oh... It looks like um, we have the Judgment here, which is also the Karma card right next to the Chariot. You are about to have some kind of breakthrough. I think you may have been waiting for it. You may, there's been delays on this breakthrough, whatever it is. This this um, There's been some sadness here, so I'm not sure what the sadness is about. I'm trying to connect that. There's sadness here and sadness here and feeling stuck in a situation. A lot of you will, this will be work related because I feel that way. You may feel like you're stuck in a situation that you can't get out of. But I see right here, these are the delays, but I think they're about to be over with because you're taking action. This is where I see the breakthrough and you taking action this month and really moving forward. I mean, there could be a move even. I mean, somebody could be moving or there could be some travel or planning some travel. Um, there could be some legal issues this month. Um, and it could affect your finances, okay? It could affect your money. Um, and I think maybe you could be worried about that, okay? There could even be a divorce, uh, a beginnings of a divorce or you're going through a divorce this month and that could be part of the legal issues, but I definitely see... This is for... Not for everybody, okay? Some portion might resonate with you and not the other person because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Some of you are having some kind of heartache, oh, okay? And it, that's all there is to it. But I see you being very victorious because we have the Six of Wands here. So this is victory and success and being recognized 
for your hard work, recognized for who you are. It's like you have a very good reputation. You have um, planted your seeds very well, and I see that you should be recognized for that. You're definitely taking action this month. You're highly aware. Um, I think you have all the tools to get to get where you want to be, and this month you're using those tools. You're moving forward. It looks really, really, really good. Um, things are starting to happen for you. Fantastic. I do see that there's a little bit of conflict, though. There is a little bit of conflict, and I'm not sure why, because here, look at this. We have, this is the Five of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So somebody some of you are feeling stuck in a situation but you're falsely falsely stuck okay you're not really stuck you can leave at any time you're not bound she's not bound by her feet her mouth isn't plugged or gagged i mean she can scream she can definitely get away from where she's at but she's not she's comfortably stuck so for a lot of you you're comfortably stuck in a situation all right um and you're, you're definitely moping over something, but you have been. I think that's in the past. I think you're moving away from the sadness that you've had perhaps in the last few month, what, months, whatever it is. I think you're moving away from that. It's caused some delays. Maybe you didn't have enough energy to move forward or you just didn't do what you needed to do. But I think that's over. That's where the breakthrough is. That, that uh, Knight of Wands is fast moving energy. I see you moving quickly. Things are changing quickly for you in this month. You're taking a stand, you're moving forward. We have karma here a couple times. Libra and judgment are both karma, uh, Libra. Justice, which is the sign of Libra, justice and karma, um, they both stand for, let me get this right, justice and judgment both stand for karma, all right? So there is karma here, that's for sure. Something is karmic, I'm not sure what it is. Could have something to do with love because it's connected to that heartache right there. Now that is a Libra connected to that that heartache that sadness this that grief rejection you could have been feeling rejected could have been uh, regarding a job or a person all right um, we have Gemini we have Libra we have Gemini Libra Aquarius I'm um, just looking to see who else we have here Aries Leo Sagittarius and we have cancer now we have the eight of cups there is there's a sadness here okay there's a sadness leaving somebody behind not looking back, okay? And see, there's somebody or something that you have felt rejected by, okay? Four of Cups. Eight of Swords, again, false imprisonment. You have it twice. You don't have to stay there. You can free yourself at any time, whatever this is. You can free yourself at any time. There's no reason to stay. Okay? There's not. You can get out of there at any time. She's she's um, lightly bound. She's not even, I mean, you can free yourself. For some reason, you're stuck in a situation. You're feeling limited or you're feeling like you're a victim. And there's no need to feel that way because you can free yourself. Um... This Ace of Wands right underneath it, this this is new growth, new partnerships, um, expansion. It's lighting a fire, okay? And with this fiery energy, that's what's happening. You are freeing yourself from whatever it is that you're feeling stuck in, that you feel like you're, you can't move forward. It's caused, there's rejection, there's... Um, regrets with this okay you've had rejection and regrets and you're moving forward you're moving away from it i see that this month is a uh, month of you really <laughs> having the fire lit under your ass and you're moving like very very quickly in a very prosperous direction and i think it's very exciting for you all right these cars don't even want to stay neat King of Cups. And then we have Cancer right here. So Cancer and Cancer again, but Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is what this represents. 
Now we have a few eights here. I just want to get back to this. I hear so much and I see so much that i got to pick what I'm going to say. And there's no way I can even say everything during a reading. It's unbelievable. After I get done the reading and I re-listen it, I think, oh, I should have said that. I should have said that. And it's like, oh, shit. But I just didn't because there wasn't enough time and now I'm talking too much. Anyway, eight, eight, eight. Eights are about materialism. Okay? They're about power. They're about control. This month, you are moving forward. Okay? You are taking action regarding your foundation. And we've had this talk before, Capricorn. I know we have. This, I think this year has been a foundation building year for you. I really do. And this month th doesn't change much other than I think you might free yourself from a situation that is holding you back. I do. Because there's too many conflicts there. There's too much tension. I think a lot of this is work-related. You could apply it to a relationship if that fits for you. But for many of you, this is work-related, okay? Um, this is letting go of something. Letting go of some responsibilities because they're too heavy to carry. The Ten of Wands, that's burdens, that's heaviness, that's that's responsibilities. And But it's letting go of them because something new is going to start. A lot of you could get a new job this month or be looking for a new job this month. You could even, Some of you could be thinking about starting your own business and, and drafting up the plans, okay? Because it feels like you're missing an opportunity, all right? And if it's not a business, it could be a new partnership, a, you know, a love relationship. You're sick of it. You just, you're ready to free yourself from that attachment, that whatever it is you were attached with to start over. Because I think you're looking for something new where you can be in control, you know, and feel respected, okay? Because I think there's, some, there's, some, there's a need for respect here, okay? Um, let me get the next deck. I think you feel you're very emotionally, emotionally balanced this month, kind of like a master of your emotions. I don't see you being too, um, you know, what's the word for it? Moping, hiding out, you know, just being introverted. I don't see that as of yet. I see you as going for it. This is a month of, I think, prosperity. That's what it looks like to me of you even, you know, building up your foundation a little bit more or a lot more. It's a big month. Justice again. It could be that it could be, you know, some of you could be, um, it could be a divorce or talk of a divorce or finally the end of a divorce okay so something legal could be a legal separation could be any of that it could be and this could be a divorce from a job okay i think this is there's something that is there's going to be a decision made okay and it's going to be a final decision this is finality here okay so i think something final is going to happen this month some kind of finality is going to happen um there we have the five of wands again now you have it twice like I said, these are conflicts. There's a lot of conflicts wherever you're at, where you're feeling stuck at, and you're missing other opportunities because of it. Four of Cups. Now you have this one twice. Okay, Four of Cups and Four of Cups twice. This is a missed opportunity. You're missing it. You're not seeing it, or you're not taking it, or you know it's out there, but you're not going for it. You're stuck in a situation falsely. You can go for it. Whatever you, comes to your mind, go for it, okay? Because your thought process is false. That's what this is, okay? It's not true. Go for it. Those are little inner conflicts that are holding you back. The devil, that's you. That represents you. This represents Pisces. And this is gratitude and very grateful for all that you have. Um... So the devil it represents Capricorn, so that's you in the reading, um, and doing the right thing for you. Don't forget to do the right thing for you. It's right next to this justice card. Okay, that says that you must do the right thing for you. All right, make that decision. Something's been weighing heavily on you, and it's time to decide what you're going to do. And I think you're going to with this Ace of Wands. I think you are, and it's going to be a very exciting endeavor. Okay, I, and there's a lot of materialism here. This is a materialistic card as well. It is. So I think there's a lot of materialism, whereas you're building your 
maybe you're building your, your financial foundation. That's what you're concentrating on this month, and I see it as being very successful in that way. This is, be careful, this is the moon. This says, uh, hold on, just wait. There's, there could be something going on behind the scenes, all right? It's also about fears, okay, the wild unknown. I think that's part of your conflicts. That's part of your... Um, holding back a feeling like you can't move forward because your your fear of the unknown that's why this card comes up you must release that fear okay because you your success is is pretty much guaranteed it is I mean your success is guaranteed you're mastering your emotions you're charging forward you're about to have a breakthrough there's a lot of excitement there's prosperity here all right remember to be kind follow your intuition all right. Um, it looks it looks very like a beautiful month. It really does. Um, I think that there's um, this is more of a financial foundation building reading. I don't. I, it could apply to love if you can. If it does for you, you'll know. What do you have for Capricorn? Mm -hmm. Have faith. Absolutely. That fear of the unknown is holding you back. Big time. You have what it takes. You have the skill. You have the drive. You have the emotional balance. I mean, you seriously have what it takes to move forward, whatever it is. Have faith. 12. Trust your faith in this situation. Trust your faith in this situation. When we truly believe that things will work out, that faith will con confidently see us through, the angels are with you. This is something that you can have complete faith in. Knowing simple truths will give you the answers that you are seeking. Love is an act of faith. Trust your faith in this situation. That fear of the unknown, replace it with faith. That's gonna, that is gonna aid you big time this month in this major, exciting, um, prosperous month. All right? So that's what I have, Capricorn. Thank you for waiting and having patience and and not going on anybody else's thing and saying, Capricorn, please. I really appreciate that. I love it. Thank you.